Happy Monday, y'all. How you doing? Today's title, Digging Up Doubt. I think that's what this blue moon is about. I don't know how your weekend was. Mine was very, very interesting. First pride in Brighton. Woohoo. Um, but the full moon, the blue full moon, was definitely sort of shedding light in areas. And, and none of the weekend turned out how I expected it to. It was, it was totally different to how I thought it would be. It was all lovely. It was great. It was fantastic. But it, it yeah, it didn't quite go to plan. Every, every day had a sort of twist to it. But no big dramas. It was just what it was. And I wonder how it was for you. Now, these moons, this particular moon and the transits that we're in in the sky at the moment are all about relationships. And the most important relationship is our relationship with ourselves because it will actually mirror every other relationship. And a big issue is on seeking approval. We seek other people's approval without having our own, which is why I'm talking about digging up doubt and how important it is to be able to be within your own skin and be comfortable with everything that's there. Uh, I know I have a very busy head. A friend of mine said, wow, you really think a lot. And I do, which is why I practice yoga and why I meditate to calm my mind. And every so often there is no mind and no thoughts and it's beautiful. And that's why vibration and intention setting is so important. But I really just want to resonate with the idea that this this full moon has been all about shedding light on all of the different facets of our hearts. And one of the most vital things we can do at the moment is to own our doubts. I'm kind of looking inward at my inner teen, my inner toddler, my inner sage, my inner uh, critic, and just seeing where each of them are taking me at the moment in terms of the thoughts and feelings I have about myself. A lot of wonderful things have been happening and you know a very nice place to meditate on is where you're at in your life right now and where you want things to be. You know that um, for a long time I've been setting the daily vibration of true love romance and magic and for me magic is always there when unicorns appear and when synchronicities appear and they're back they've been back for a little while now uh, over the weekend I saw two <laughs> uh, unicorns um, obviously they're not well I'm not going to say they're not real because they are real they're manifesting everywhere but um, they were a sign that somehow I am shifting more into my magical self, into my trusting that life really is exciting and magical and a higher vibration way of living is really fun. I've had so much fun over the last few weeks. It's just been really exciting. And I like that vibration and I want to maintain that vibration. And what I'm looking at is who in my life is helping me maintain that vibration and, and lifts me up and who in my life actually brings me down or keeps a status quo that somehow shifts my vibration downwards and you know there's no right or wrong here we're all who we are um, and I remember the saying birds of a feather flock together and really follow your bliss you know what makes you happy sorry but what makes you happy what do you want to do and without trying to hold anyone else prisoner to the fact that they must want what you want and you must want what they want where are you at? What brings you your joy? Can you really be honest with yourself? We are all multifaceted beings. So, you know, there'll be elements that we connect with others on and other elements that we don't. But the more we raise our vibration, the more honest we are with ourselves about what turns us on, about what makes us happy, about what inspires us, the more we can see that reflected in the world around us. And that's what magic is for me. It's living in synchronicity. It's living in alignment with our highest vision of ourselves, our highest vision of the world. And that is something I've really been thinking about recently. What is that for me? I want to co-create constantly wonderful things. I don't want to waste my energy. I want to be good at what I put inside my body, put on my body, put in my mind, in my head, my thoughts, my feelings. I want to be a really positive catalyst for change. That's what inspires me most. And the change is in a positive direction. It's a change towards world peace, which is, of course, the inner peace reflected in the outer world. So contemplate what makes you buzz. What are you about? And how do the people around you mirror and reflect that? Be honest with yourself, own your doubts and remember the guilt, the blame, the shame, the inner critic, bless him or her, is there to keep you down, is there to stop you growing. I'm a big believer in leaving no stone, stone unturned. I'm a very curious creature and that's got me in a lot of trouble in the past and it's also led me to some wonderful adventures. Now, there's nothing that binds me more 
than the expectations that other people have of me to stay the same, to always be who I've always been, whatever they perceive that to be. Remember perception filters, everyone, okay? We all have them. And a really wonderful um, thing to do is to align your perception with love. Love, forgiveness, truth, honesty, acceptance, and to aim for fulfillment. So reminder of the ho Popono, which I'm sorry, I can't actually say very well. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Repeat that to yourself. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And then invite everything that's inside of you to reveal itself, to help you to align with your highest truth, your highest version of yourself. Then you can express that to others. But until you are clear, keep it to yourself. Have a wonderful week. Next post is from Greece. Hopefully on a Monday, if not as soon to a Monday as possible, because I won't have Wi-Fi on the boat. But send you loads of love. Hope this is helpful. Namaste. And there's only level two class tonight, so I hope you can make it. Bye.